Hey, it's Mac. I reports here giving you a quick overview or demonstration of Lassie's new Thunderbolt drive. Um, it is, well, the one that I got, they have uh, apparently comes in a couple different flavors, one terabyte and two terabyte. Um, this particular one is the one terabyte 7200 RPM unit. Um, I just wanted to show you how, the, you know, the size of it and, and so forth. So it's actually a pretty small, pretty small unit, um, pretty basic on the back. Uh, on the back you have the uh, in and out which should be pretty standard on Thunderbolt uh, devices going forward because you can daisy chain them um, and also you can get more speed uh, with this guy if you daisy chain it. Um, I have just a single one. Um, inside of this guy is two drives probably 500 gigabytes uh, each and they are 7200 RPM running running in RAID. Uh, so anyway let's go ahead and uh, hook this guy up and see what we can actually do. I haven't had a chance to use it yet, so I'm kind of curious to see what what happens. Um, now, I'm going to connect it actually using, um, I have an external monitor that uses the mini display port, so we're going to go ahead and use that as well. You see how that, that works. Now, it does have a power, a power supply um, that's, well, external power connector I should say um, that's required. I, I wish it didn't. I thought that it would be able to be powered you know just using the Thunderbolt technology itself but uh, I guess that's not the case. Also when I'm connecting it there is no uh, connection that's saying let's see how long it takes before the laptop up oh, look at that right away um, it, it recognized and by the way uh, what we have here is uh, this has been powered actually from a MacBook MacBook Pro, um, it's just, just an HP monitor that we're running there. But anyway, um, on the back of this guy, the two Thunderbolt ports, there is in and, there isn't an in and out. It actually just you know they both say you know the same same thing on on each one of them. So I guess it doesn't matter just as long as, as if you're using a Display Port, which obviously doesn't support th Thunderbolt, you need to have it at the end of the daisy chain. So let's check this out here. We're going to go ahead and use this disk speed. Um, this is something I got off the internet, and, and I'm not sure if you guys can see this, so let's go ahead and try to get you zoomed in. To where you can see some words there. Alright, so you should be able to now see what I see. Alright, um, anyway, uh, real quick, we're, we have uh, uh, three drives that are connected to this guy, or four drives that are connected to this. Um, right now we're going to first use the internal hard drive as a base test. So that's what this is connected to right now. Internal hard drive, we see that our write speed is going to be right at about uh, 60 megabytes per second. And our read speed is about 57, 58 megabytes per second is where it peaks out at. Um, let's select a different drive. This is iOmega drive, and this drive actually is just a 250, uh, 250 gigabyte drive, but this drive is USB 2.0. It actually is running 5400 RPMs. So. Looks like we peaked out at about 29. Yeah, let's call it 29, uh, almost 30 megabytes per second. And our our read speeds is about 36. I think it jumped up to 37 a second ago. But um, now we're gonna try another drive here. Now I have a Drobo that's connected to this. Uh, what the Drobo is, in case you don't know what it is, you should definitely check it out and look look it up if you're looking for. Um, a good storage solution, um, but anyway, they keep all your data safe. Um, at any rate, uh, the Do the Drobo is the Drobo 2, um, and it is connected via FireWire. It has four bays, four drives in it. The drives are going to be two terabytes each, uh, and they're running 7,200 RPMs. And we look at that. We look like we're peaking out mm, somewhere around. 11, 12 megabytes on a right speed.
and our read speeds actually well, it looks like our read speed jumped up to 14 there and our read looked like it was somewhere around 9 or so um, I've done this test several times with the Drobo and like there you see the uh, read speed is now around 10 so uh, I don't know what makes that as inconsistent as it is but uh, all in all I like the Drobo it's not one I'm going to use uh, if I'm for storage, it's great. Keep my data's protection or protected. That's great. I'm not going to use the Drobo for uh, much more than that. Um, let's go with uh, into the C one terabyte drive using Thunderbolt. Let's see what happens. And wow, that's great. Uh, it looked like it peaked out. On the right speed at 122, and look like our read is like 179, 180. This, wow, we're at 130, 37, looks like. And we're peaking out at what? 182 or so. So that actually is pretty phenomenal. I'm really, really impressed with the speed there. Excited to see how it works in uh, real world. But I, I wanted you guys to have a chance to see that. Because I took when I was looking, I didn't see what I was wanting to see uh, when it came to you know getting information on this drive. I do a lot of video uh, video production and and I wanted to have uh, a faster you know read read writes than what I was getting uh, from the other drives that I've had. So uh, fortunately, this looks like it's going to be a better choice. We'll see what happens. I'll put up a new video as soon as I. I get more information on that using the Final Cut Pro and compressor.